Today's topic is the wrecking crew. Now, what on earth are the wrecking crew? Well, they are the musicians who really played on your favorite records. Let's talk about the relationship of an orchestra and their conductor. Orchestra musicians, I spent decades playing in orchestras, study their instruments and they try to get as good as they can, master their instruments to be able to play whatever is asked of them. And the conductor is the one that does the asking. So it's, while music is a creative art, in this particular ensemble, all of these musicians are there to do the bidding of the conductor. The conductor's job is to interpret the score, the musical score, Beethoven, Mozart, and then add their musical touches to that and their interpretations. And they ask things of the musicians in front of them because the conductor doesn't make any sound. So he plays the orchestra, if that makes sense. And the orchestra members subjugate their own personal opinions or I don't think it should be this fast, I don't think it should be that loud, I don't think I should play there. Doesn't matter, they do what the conductor bids. The same thing happens in a recording studio. This is Phil Spector. And Phil Spector's had a crazy life, A, if you know Phil Spector. But in the 60s, he was the producer in LA. He had so many hit records and a real unique sound. And he was in control of the recording process. Uh, there he is talking to one of the Righteous Brothers and the Ronettes behind him. Uh, made all of them successful. So he is the conductor of a studio recording session. Now, <laughs> this is 1914. English composer Edward Elgar is recording one of his pieces. And notice that the orchestra is crammed in front of this conical microphone. I mean, they're just like right there because that was the uh, technology of the day. Here's a Victor recording company session. Again, note the big conical mic and the odd seating in front of it. Okay, by the end of World War II, technology had improved with recording on magnetic tape and much more improved studios and electronics and microphones. And you'll have seen this before if you've attended one of my sessions. Here's a video of a recording session in the early 50s.